Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you so much for tuning in as we go through adding or subtracting terms. So it turns out you can only add or subtract like terms. And to add or subtract terms, all you do is add or subtract the coefficients. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense. So let's go through, firstly, what are like terms. So remember that a term is just a sequence of letters or pronumerals and numbers. So two terms are said to be like terms if they have the same sequence of pronumerals or letters. So let's look at some examples. So if I wanted to look at 7a and 2a, they are like terms because they both have 1a. So I could add these together, I could subtract one from the other. Similarly, if I have something like x and 4x, they are like terms because they both have 1x. So if I have the two terms xy and let's say 3yx, they're also like terms. The reason is they both have 1x and 1y. Now remember, if no operation is written, it's times. So xy means x times y. The order in which you multiply doesn't matter. You know 7 times 2 and 2 times 7 give you the same answer. So that's why it doesn't matter about the order that they're written in just as long as they have the same pronumerals. So these two are, are down the bottom are like terms, even though in one the x is written first, in one the y is written first, they both have one x and one y. They are like terms. So let's look at an example of terms that are not like terms. So if we have something like three and three b, they are not like terms. One of them has a b, one doesn't. It doesn't matter that the numbers are the same, that's not what like terms are. They have to have the same pro numerals. Doesn't matter about the numbers. Say I had two terms AB and 2A. Again, they are not like terms. One of them has a B, one of them does not have a B. They do not have the same letters. So if I had something like 4XYZ and even something negative like 5XY, once again, they are not like terms. The first term here has a Z. The second term does not. They don't have the same pronumerals, and therefore they're not like terms. So it turns out in all of these examples, you couldn't add them together. You can't add 3 and 3B. You can't add AB and 2A, and so on. So let's look at examples of when we can add or subtract some terms together. So as it said on the previous slide, when we're adding or subtracting terms, you just perform the operation on the coefficient, which means number in front of. So let's say we have something like 7x plus 3x. So if I had 7x's and you gave me 3 more x's, I'd have 10x's. We just add the coefficients. The coefficient of this term is 7 and of the second term is 3. 7 plus 3 is 10. Easy as. So what if I wanted to do 7x minus 3x? Same idea. You have seven x's and someone comes and takes away three x's, you have four x's. We just operated on the coefficient seven minus three. We we're able to do, in both cases, we we're able to do the sum because they were like terms. If I have something like seven plus x, I cannot simplify that. I can't simplify because one term is 7, one is x. They do not have the same sequence of pronumerals. They are not like terms. You can only add or subtract like terms. So let's add something like 4x plus 3x. And let's say I had plus 9 minus 3. I want to simplify this, write it a bit simpler. So what I do is I search for like terms. Well, 4x and 3x are like terms. 4x plus 3x is 7x. Again, I just added the coefficients. 4 plus 3 is 7, and I wrote the pronumeral. 9 and 3 are like terms. You know that you can take 3 away from 9. 9 minus 3 is just 6. It's positive 6. So the final answer is 7x plus 6. Now, I can't simplify this any further because one term has an x, one doesn't. They are not like terms. You can't add them together. So I am done. Let's look at another example with many terms. So let's look at this example here. So this is an expression. It has 1, 2, 
three, four terms. So look for like terms. 7y and 6y are like terms. So note this is not, this one here is not 6y, it's negative 6y. The coefficient of y there is negative 6. So we need to go 7y minus 6y. If you have 7y's, someone takes away 6y's, you have just 1y. Now you don't actually need to write the 1, you can just write that as y. So 1y and y are the same thing. So I'm just going to write it as y. Now I have to take the other two like terms, 5z and 2z. Once again, it's 5z minus 2z. So if you have 5z's and someone takes away two of those z's, you have 3z's. Okay, so 5 minus 2 is positive 3, so it's y plus 3z. So if you had 7y's, someone took away 6y's, and you had 5z's and someone took away 2z's, you would have 1y left plus 3z's. Let's look at simplifying this expression. Once again, it has four terms. We need to look for like terms. So we have 6b, and this positive belongs to the 5b. So it's 6b plus 5b is 11b. If you add 6b, someone gave you 5b's, you now have 11b's. Now, the other two terms, let's look at minus 3a and minus 2. They are lonely. They don't have any friends. They don't have any like terms. So when that happens, we can't just ignore them. We just leave them. So that minus 3a stays as it, as it is, and so too the negative 2 stays as it is. You can't simplify this expression any further. It has three terms, 1, 2, three but none of them are like terms therefore i can't simplify any further let's look at this expression here it now has four terms i want to simplify it so we need to look for like terms so this first term is 12 mn this last one is not 6, but negative 6 nm. They are like terms. Remember I told you it doesn't matter about the order of the pronumerals. They're like terms as long as they have the same pronumerals. So this term has 1m and 1n. Similarly, this one has 1n, 1m. They are like terms. So 12mn minus 6nm is just 6, because 12 minus 6 is 6. And it doesn't matter the order you write it in. So I'm just going to write MN. It wouldn't have mattered if I wrote the N first. So this one here, once again, does not have any like terms. Minus 3M, there are no other terms with just 1M and no other pronumeral. So remember, I just leave it as it is. Write minus 3M. And similarly, this one, he has no friends, 2n. There's no other terms with just 1n and no other pronumeral, so I leave it as it is. Now, this expression here cannot be simplified any further. It's got three terms. None of them are like terms. You can only add or subtract terms that are like terms. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Have a great day.